a today's Bible, November 14th, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading a narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English reading message, The Strength of God's Hands. Esther chapter 8, verse 9 to 17. At once, the royal secretaries were summoned on the 23rd day of the third month, the month of Savon. They rolled out all Mordecai's orders to the Jews and to the satraps, governors, and nobles of the 127 provinces searching from India to Kush. These orders were written in the script of each province and the language of each people, and also to the Jews in their own script and language. Mordecai wrote in the name of King Cyrus, sealed the dispatches with the king's signet ring, and sent them by mounted couriers, who rode fast horses especially breed for the king. The king's indict granted the Jews in every city the, king, the right to assemble and protect themselves, destroy, kill, and ally the armed men of any nationality or province who might attack them and their women and children, and to plunder the property of their enemies. The day appointed for the Jews to do this in all provinces of King Zerus was the 30th, 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar. A copy of the text of the indict was to be issued as law in every province and made known to the people of every nationality so that the Jews would be ready on that day to avenge themselves on their enemies. The couriers riding the royal horses went out spurred on by the king's command, and the edict was issued in the citadel of Zusa. When Mordecai left the king's presence, he was wearing royal garment of blue and white, a large crown of gold, and a purple robe of the fine linen. And the city of Zusa held a joyous celebration. For the Jews, it was a time of happiness and joy, gladness and honor. In every province, in every city, to which the indict of the king came. There was joy and gladness among the Jews, with festing and celebrating. And many people of other nationalities became Jews because fear of the Jews had seen them. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, November 14th, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading a narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English reading message, The Strength of God's Hands. Esther chapter 8, verse 9 to 17. At once, the royal secretaries were summoned on the 23rd day of the third month, the month of Savon. They rolled out all Mordecai's orders to the Jews and to the satraps, governors, and nobles of the 127 provinces searching from India to Kush. These orders were written in the script of each province and the language of each people, and also to the Jews in their own script and language. Mordecai wrote in the name of King Cyrus, sealed the dispatches with the king's signet ring, and sent them by mounted couriers, who rode fast horses especially breed for the king. The king's indict granted the Jews in every city the, king, the right to assemble and protect themselves, destroy, kill, and ally the armed men of any nationality or province who might attack them and their women and children, and to plunder the property of their enemies. The day appointed for the Jews to do this in all provinces of King Zerus was the 30th, 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar. A copy of the text of the indict was to be issued as law in every province and made known to the people of every nationality so that the Jews would be ready on that day to avenge themselves on their enemies. The couriers riding the royal horses went out spurred on by the king's command, and the edict was issued in the citadel of Zusa. When Mordecai left the king's presence, he was wearing royal garment of blue and white, a large crown of gold, and a purple robe of the fine linen. And the city of Zusa held a joyous celebration. For the Jews, it was a time of happiness and joy, gladness and honor. In every province, 
in every city to which the indict of the king came. There was joy and gladness among the Jews, with festing and celebrating. And many people of other nationalities became Jews because fear of the Jews had seized them. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, November 14th, 2021, this is preached by Pastor David Shin. I'll be reading narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's scripture mission message, God keeps his promise, Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 through 16, and Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 through 6. Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 through 16. The Lord appearance to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre, while he was sitting at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat so you can be re refreshed and then go on your way now that you have come to your servant. Very well, they answered. Do as you say. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah. Quick, he said, get three say of the finest flour and net it and bake some bread. Then he came to the herd and selected a choice tender calf and gave it to a servant who hurried to prepare it. He then brought some curds and milk in the calf that had been prepared, and set these before them. While they ate, he stood near them under a tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked him. There, in the tent, he said. Then one of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year. Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance to the tent, which was behind him. Abraham and Sarah were already very old, and Sarah was a past age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought, Am I am worn out, and my Lord is old? Will I now have this pleasure? Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied and said, I did not laugh. But he said, Yes, you did laugh. When the men got up to leave, they looked down towards Sodom, and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 through 6. Now the Lord was gracious to Sarah, and he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age, at the very time God had promised him. Abraham gave the name Isaac to the son Sarah bore him. When his son Isaac was eight days old, Abraham circumcised him as God commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who heals a, hears about this will with me. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, November 14th, 2021, this is preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's history message, The Secret to Overcoming Depression, Sh Psalms, Chapter 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, where I shall again praise Him, my salvation.